Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new YouTube video. Today, I just want to give a quick disclaimer. If you guys do not enjoy this video, because I'm going to be talking about a kind of a controversial topic. Not really controversial, but that's the word I can only use for this video. I am just going to say one thing. If you guys disagree with me, that is perfectly okay. It's just my opinion. Please do not hate on my opinion. I'm not trying to be biased in any way. But just please accept my opinion and I will accept yours. So I just wanted to clarify that. So if you hate on this video, then go for it. I just, I don't want to get too much hate, okay? So yeah, I just wanted to get that out of the way. All right, guys. So f my name is Michelangelo. Today, guys, we're going to be talking about Friday the 13th, the game, and the counselors that have been added. So we all know that we're getting Victoria Sterling. We're getting, uh, we're, we're, that's the only counselor we're getting right now, right? With the new update. And but before all this, we got Mitch Floyd coming with the Friday the 13th, the very biggest, the first big update where they introduced the Tommy Jarvis house, part four, Jason, weather, and so much more things. And that's just a rundown of the first counselor, right? Mitch wasn't really that big of a character. He wasn't the biggest addition to that update. He was maybe one of the major, but he wasn't the biggest. But the thing that everyone was curious about him was that he looked very similar to Chuck from part three. And he, that is true. He is basically made like him. You know, he is based off him. But everyone everyone knows that he's based off of Chi Chin Chong. Just, just want to get that. <laughs> he is be based off of Chi Chin Chong. But um, the other two, Shelly and Fox. I, first of all, I want to say to the actor who played Shell or I want to the actor who played uh, Fox in Friday the 13th part three movie i am deeply sorry that you that she passed away i am deeply i am deeply sorry that she passed away there's nothing i want to say about her but basically fox fox wasn't really that uh, memorable of a character she was this big badass character in the movie right big badass biker you know she was one of those ladies who stood up to everyone but again she wasn't one of the most memorable char memorable characters remember think about this part three part three had chuck um what's her name uh, i just said her fox and shelly all three of them they were in that movie but all were all three of them that really really that memorable in my opinion no honestly the most memorable character would have to be <laughs> the main girl with the blue sweater i forgot her name at this point but she is the main sole survivor in that movie but it is it does suck that we got most of the the movie characters that were kind of die that got killed off so mitch or i mean chuck in this case he was probably one of the counselors that we do need in the game as fox too you know we do need a biker girl to the uh the addition of a counselor but i really don't see her working here as a summertime job honestly but what i'm trying to get at is why can't they add more memorable characters to the game i know that maybe they're just trying to add characters that didn't really get that much of a spotlight in the films but again you're adding characters from a movie that's pretty old that what i'm just trying to get at is why couldn't good media add some characters you know like like julius from part freaking eight or freaking El alice hardy from one and two they couldn't add those characters like i'm just i'm just speculating here maybe they will add them but maybe remember what i made that um video with the guy um who played part five the little kid reggie why could they you know they're adding how they want to add him but unfortunately, it's not easy to make a counselor. And I understand that, you know, it does take time and money. But yet, you have to remember, at this point, Gun Media is just adding counselors that honestly just kind of bummed. I think my favorite has to be Mitch because, you know, he does wear that bandana and I wear bandanas. But his stats are pretty dope, too. I'm not going to hate on any of the counselors. They are dope in their own way. But remember, this is just an opinion-based video. I just, I, it kind of just add to see some of the characters from biggest aspects of the films you know the big characters they couldn't add them but i guess the biggest change that we're probably going to be getting is you know melissa from part seven we do need that rich white girl even though we have chat already but uh other than that guys i i that's all i got for you guys today um thank you guys so much for watching remember if you guys did enjoy leave a like on this video subscribe if you guys are new and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace <music>
Oh, 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 oh,